welcome back to another Tech Junkie video. I'm excited about today's video. I'm gonna use launch control for the first time. Uh, the truck was in limp mode for 500 miles and then it was raining for several days here uh, where I'm at and I'm finally comfortable enough with the roads being dry uh, to, to try my hand at, at launch control. Now, I've never launched any of the vehicles that I've owned. I've owned two Challengers and a Charger that both had launch control and I never used either one of them. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of an amateur at this at this uh, power game, this muscle truck game. Um, I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna put on some big face like I'm something that I'm not. Uh, I bought my first V8 in 2011, and I've kind of worked my way up the food chain ever since then. So, uh, so I'm learning as I go. I want to learn as much about trucks and cars as I do about cell phones and tech. So this is my journey, and you can watch it if you want. Um, I bought my first Challenger uh, in 2011. It was a V6. Uh, quickly tra traded it in for a V8. I had a 2011 RT Classic uh, back when the SRT8, which, which was the big thing, and the RT Classic was right underneath it, kind of like how the Scat Pack and the Hellcat are now. Later had a Daytona 392, which I actually traded for this T-Rex. So uh, I also had a 2018 Scat Pack Challenger manual transmission. Uh, and then when the 2019 models came out, they had blind spot alert uh, added, to the, added to the car. So I traded the 2018 for the 2019. Now, if you've ever driven a Challenger before, you understand that the blind spots in those cars are terrible. Uh, so the, the blind spot alert is definitely a feature that you would want to have if you buy one of those cars. Anything 2019 or higher should have blind spot alert. So today we're going to get on, a, we're going to find a, a nice isolated place to uh, try out launch control for the first time. And you guys get to adventure that with me. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's get us. We got a nice little isolated place right here. No cars around. Put it in launch control. Apply brake pressure. Launch enabled. Apply full. There's a car passing by. Let's let them go. Apply full throttle. Holy. truck literally went from zero to 70 before I could even react. Wow. Mama, don't change the channel. I'm okay. Savannah, I'm okay. Relax. Don't start calling me as soon as this video goes live. I want to know what I'm doing. I'm good. I've got to get this truck to the track. That was so much fun. Oh, I think I might be addicted. The gas mileage is going to drop for sure. Wow. If you ever get a chance to get one of these trucks or to drive one of these trucks, be careful, but that is, that is a, something to behold. Let's try that again. I don't know if uh, anyone would ever rent their truck out on Toro, but if you can go to Toro and find one of these trucks to rent for the day, if, you, if you're not gonna buy one, I would definitely recommend doing that. Be safe, don't be, don't be crazy, don't be crazy. folks <laughs> all right so next uh, video plans for the t-rex i've got lots of stuff planned for this truck uh, we're gonna have a couple of minor things added next week um, that i'm really looking forward to one of the first things i had planned for this truck um, we're gonna do next week i have some graphics designs i have some graphics being worked over with a designer uh, that we're gonna add to the truck. I can't wait for that. I'm not sure exactly how long that's gonna take. Uh, the designer said they'd get back with me within a week or two. I want an original design, nothing that anyone else has. So we're gonna do that here coming up very soon. Um, we're gonna take the boat out and see how this thing tows. We have tons of videos planned for this truck. We also have a lot of tech content planned. I've got three or four videos already filmed that are just needing to be edited on the tech side. 
I don't know if you know this about me if you've tuned in just for T-Rex content, but I, I am a tech geek, I am a tech junkie, and I repair cell phones for a living. So a lot of times if I'm doing a phone that's destroyed, I'll record that process and, and, uh, and, and upload that to YouTube. I also like to do unboxings and stuff like that. I have a ton of that content already um, recorded. Um, we're gonna re-record some stuff that we've already done simply because I have better equipment and I'm better with my editing now. So we have a ton of stuff on the way. Uh, be sure you hit that like button if you like the content that we provide. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified for all the videos. I do like to upload daily or, or every other day with, with at least a tech video. Uh, for a TRX video every three or four days. I like to I like to stay regular, but uh, I do work seven days a week, so it's a little hard to get out there and film TRX content. Once I'm monetized and can take the load off of my work schedule, then obviously we'll do more content. But I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, y'all take it easy.